All right, we back once again, guys. I'm getting into some deep stuff here I, uh, for this video. Uh, we're gonna be talking about Delta, Gamma, Bana, Black Shoals models, volatility, and I'll give you guys some ideas on how to potentially uh, start learning about it. I'm, I'm, I'm legitimately like I'm just getting into this. I've read some really good books on it. It's still a lot over my head. Uh, I'm sure some of you guys understand this stuff a lot better. Um, but we're gonna I'm just gonna try to introduce you to some resources so that you can learn it a little bit and why I think it's important to learn it um, the main reason is you want to understand Delta in the markets and how options pricing is affecting the indices um, because Delta is the uh, what the dealers are using to measure their own uh, positioning against you and your positions or other funds positions and so if you understand how the dealers are positioned based on their delta then you're going to have a better idea of uh, you know what the market's going to do next it's going to give you an edge however i'm still a long ways from truly understanding what the freak i'm talking about so uh, if i sound like an idiot here just bear with me i'm trying to get through this i'm trying to understand this as best i can but here's a really good article go follow this guy first follow me at victorious big and then uh, i tweeted out this little article here from uh, a hedge fund manager he's a volatility trader for a long time and uh, he's got he's the one the reason I got into this kind of thing he tweeted out this little article it's gonna give you a good understanding of uh, how the Delta Gamma Vana and charm these Greeks are affecting the order books for he was an SPX trader so he, he talks about SPX here but um, I don't even know if he wrote this but this is just an SPX based uh, uh, article talking about uh, Delta and then Gamma, Gamma and Vana. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really talk about charm too much, but if you don't understand uh, the st statistical probabilities and uh, and distribution curves and skews and ketosis and all that stuff with options, uh, definitely go and uh, read up on some of those basics just to kind of get an idea. It's, if you like statistics and numbers and stuff, you're going to really like. Um, probability thinking that comes along with options and that's kind of where I, I, I've been uh, kind of trending towards it seems like is less on less reliance on the charts and more on the order flow and the options pricing and starting there as far as before I even look at charts and try to figure out okay it's at the moving average or whatever I'm looking at I'm trying to look at where where the order flow is, you know, with with volume at price. So you're doing market profile. You're looking at the order flow because I'm watching the uh, I got the Sierra charts order flow set up, and then I'm looking at the options chains and options prices. And this is going to add another uh, element to uh, the readings is understanding the dealer positioning too. So looking at dealer positions, looking at uh, options prices, and then looking at the order flow. And then we can look at the chart and see what if the chart is reflecting sort of our, our underlying thesis. So, uh, but this is this is a good article to kind of look uh, and 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 start you know that little journey there. And then then there's a website called tradingvolatility.net. Um, you can sign up for a day pass or five day pass. It's only like twenty bucks. So I signed up for the next week because I wanted to use it. But it's going to give you this. Um, these charts here that's going to give you the gamma exposure of the of the dealers um, by strike price and I think this is how some of these uh, professionals are coming up with their uh, targets and things like that but you can kind of see uh, just it's going to give you a little graph there I haven't quite fully understood it yet but um, and then it's going to give you what they call the skew adjusted gex trend the gex is just the gamma exposure and it's going to be uh, skew adjusted and I'm not exactly sure what that means yet I'm still looking into that and then you got the naive gex trends well I'm trying to figure that out as well but I will figure this out and as soon as I do I will do videos on it to uh, give you a uh, better understanding of what it is and if you guys understand it please comment um, next is this website I thought was cool because I, I've been wanting to find some data on this but it's going to give you the dark pool as well and here's something interesting that I found well, this is interesting you can see the uh, laser dark pool 
let's just take a look at it because I haven't looked at it. So on March 19th, laser dark pool was at a low, and it's been going higher lately. Let's look at laser real quick. So dark pool as of what did I say that was? 16th. The 19th, March 19th. So let's go to March 19th here. So dark pool hit a bottom here on March 19th, and since then it's been trending higher. And this thing has been getting destroyed. I'm not exactly sure how to read that yet, but that's interesting. Does that mean that it's being accumulated on the dark pool here at these lower prices? Because it's literally just been straight down on the dark pool or on the price, but it's going up on the. So if I could put that chart here. So that's an interesting little insight there. I'm going to kind of track this and see if this divergence here ends up in a, a big ripper here on, on laser. We're going to see. But then we can go look at uh, the laser GEX charts. So let's go see what, let's see if we can get any insight. So looking at Tesla earlier, I was going to do this video on Tesla, but this is a little bit more interesting because um, this is more, this is going to be maybe potentially impactful in the future. So uh, looking at gamma exposure for strikes. Just kind of looking at this, seeing if there's any kind of uh, divergence, any kind of indication that could potentially lead us to a conclusion this might go higher. Because that's really what I'm after. I want to see are these, are the big guys buying it right now? Are there big funds, you know, trying to come in here and buy this up maybe at this 200? 1944 would be a great support level just based on this chart. So I don't know. Anyways, that's the video real quick. Just wanted to kind of just put that out there for now. And we'll be doing follow-up videos on this. Um, so be sure to tune in. Anyways, peace.